Assalamu alaikum. My name is uh, Samar Bedreddin. I'm a consultant infectious diseases and the director of infection control at Dr. Sleiman Faqih Hospital in Jeddah. Uh, I'll be discussing with you uh, microorganisms or microbes and uh, the way they can cause disease to us and how can we protect ourselves from their harmful effect. Uh, microbes are uh, microscopic creatures, very small that we cannot see with the naked eye, and they are present all over around us. They are found uh, on the walls, on the floor, in the food we eat, in the water we drink, and they are also present in our own body, in the mouth, in our uh, genitalia, on our skin. Many of those bacteria and viruses and microbes are uh, harmless in a way, but some of them can be harmful and we need to know how they can come to us so that we protect ourselves from their effect. One, there are few ways how microorganisms can come to our body. One of them is by ingestion, uh, which means you eat something that has certain bacteria or certain viruses and this can give you disease. Another way that they can come to us is through breathing, respiratory tract, someone sneezing or coughing into their face, your face. If they have uh, in microbes in their uh, secretions, it might come to you through the cough or the sneeze. A third way that they can come to us is through uh, mosquitoes and insects. And a famous um, common example here in Jeddah is dengue fever, where uh, there's a mosquito that carries a virus from one person to another. Um, another way that bacteria or microorganisms can be transmitted to humans is through sexual uh, intercourse. Um, and another way, a fifth way, is from mother to fetus. Pregnant women having certain microbes and infections, they can transmit it to the uh, fetus, to the baby. How can we prevent that? Uh, for the things which could be transmitted by ingestions or eating, it's very important that we avoid eating in places outside usually where hygiene and cleanliness are not observed. Um, it's always preferred that we eat well-cooked food uh, because cooking can destroy most microbes and it's very important that we wash our hands before eating remember with your hands you can touch everything in the environment you can carry all the bacteria all over the place so before you grab the food to eat make sure that you wash your hands so that your hands are clean before you do it um, regarding the infections which can be transmitted by breathing there's what we call respiratory etiquette which means when people sneeze or cough they need to cover their faces and their mouth um, uh, with the tissue and dispose of the tissue in proper uh, disposal areas and wash their hands afterwards uh, likewise if you are sitting with someone who's coughing or sneezing it would be appropriate to remind them that they have to cover their mouth so that whatever um, uh, secretions come out of their mouth do not reach the people around them and transmit infections. As to the infections which are transmitted by mosquitoes and by insects, very important to use insect repellents and there are many of them in the pharmacies. Um, you could have some that you could put in your house for environmental uh, effect or you can put on your own skin repellents. Uh, additionally, um, because we know that mosquitoes usually breed and lay eggs in stagnant water, it's very important that you avoid having any stagnant water around the area where you live uh, because that by itself can stop the proliferation and the growth of the, of the mosquitoes and that can reduce the risk of uh, diseases transmitted by the mosquitoes. As to the sexually transmitted diseases, it's very important that people planning to get married, that they do the premarital testing. Those testing help identify if someone has any problem, help in treating them early and in protecting uh, their future spouse. Uh, for the mother to child or matern from mother to fetus infections, it's very important that also delivering women, they go through what is called the prenatal testing. And those tests also just like the premarital testing are a must by the Ministry of Health and they are offered in all hospitals including our hospital here at Dr. Sema Faqi Hospital. Um, this is uh, briefly how we can protect ourselves from 
uh, microbes um, if I'm to stress one major thing this is hand washing it is very essential uh, step in keeping yourself healthy and protected from uh, microbes uh, hand washing must be practiced uh, after you go to the toilets before you eat if you're visiting a patient in the hospital before touching that patient because you could be carrying on your hands bacteria that you can give to this patient and after you're done visiting a patient wash your hands before you leave their room and uh, one easy way to, to do the hand cleaning you either can do the water and soap by washing or you could use the dispensers which you will see everywhere in Dr. Salman Faqih hospital near patients uh, inside patients rooms actually and near patients beds where they have alcohol-based agents which is very good for the hand cleaning thank you